We can't not achieve incredible things here. Good morning. How are you doing? Very well. Yourself? Yeah, good. That was a <laughs> beauty brand. It's a recommendation from an existing client, the woman that's running it who seems very switched on, understands the space. Um, some of the products I think are really good and we definitely do, but some of the other ones we will have to look very seriously to decide if we take on. It's such a responsibility on us and everyone involved in this game to to make the, the right ethical decision on what we should be pushing. We can't just push everything because someone's willing to pay for it. Hello, I'm excited for South by Southwest. No, I am. It's something I've been thinking about. It's going to be great. I haven't been to Austin in four years since the last South by Southwest. And yeah, I can't, I can't wait. It's one of the best cities in the world. It's for that two weeks, it is mad. Not that we're just going to have fun, but it is a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. Just finished a filming session with the Celtic football players here at the training ground. Uh, influencers filmed Timothy Ware and Kieran Tierney. Uh, exciting stuff. So yeah, that's us done for the day. You guys are aware of the regulations that have just been put, well, put in place before can't Christmas. Bet between... You can't put live odds out if you're a bookie between um, the start of the game and the end of the game, basically. We're already talking about what we're going to be doing next season, and so we need to be forefront of their of their plans. Okay, so they can just go, bam, this is what it is. Offers, and then also in-play odds, and then what those in-play odds, how we match them to the right influencer. It's just working, it's working really closely with their team to have the odds. Well, that's what we do anyway. You know, the, boy, the boys during the um, during every weekend, they're just saying, okay, quickly, can you tweak that? Okay, let's do the 20 to one out now. Um, that's how. That's the only way we can, we can actually get this out. Just talking, actually quite interesting, whistle to whistle, stop betting. Oh, yeah, we need to show that we're the right people to do it and use case study where we're doing 4,000 posts over five games. So is the new law actually called whistle to whistle, stop? Yeah, yeah. It's something that nobody else can if do. You have, if you have something personalised as an influencer, that is how you drive acquisition. Okay, I'm happy to sit with Jago on this though, because I want it out quite quickly. Mm -hmm. I've got four, under four weeks now before I go and become a sweaty mess in Singapore, so let's do it now. Let's get it out there. We've got Suhit coming in today. He is an unbelievably inspiring young kid. He's 17. He's grown an incredible business in this space, in the influence marketing space, which obviously we know the, the, the depths and the intricacies that that takes. But he's also done that uh, whilst overcoming a, a, a horrible illness. Um, and I find his story incredibly inspiring. I haven't met him before. So he's coming down from Scotland today, coming to meet me and a few other people in London. Um, and I'm looking forward to kind of sharing his story with you guys and also uh, just chatting to him about the business and, and how he sees it going forward. At age 16, it was almost this time last year, February 23rd, uh, I was diagnosed with stage 2A hospital lymphoma, which is a cancer of the lymph nodes. And I thought, what if I'm going to, you know, not my life, what if I'm not going to be here in like the next six months or a year or whatever. So I turned that into, right, so if I'm not going to be here, I'm going to do something like really I'm passionate about. So that's where kind of the business came from. I thought I'm going to go out here and start a business and do what I really enjoy. So that's where my business was formed and you know, similar to go into some marketing. It's just such a great space that we're going through and I'm fine now. Yeah, healthy. and you're doing an amazing job in the, especially the gaming space. What? Why have you chosen gaming to, to specialise in? Since sort of when I was young, I've always been a gamer and I've always like loved, you know, playing games and stuff and that's where I've sort of found myself in. I had a sort of bit of a reputation, you know, involved a lot of the influencers there. And also the space is just growing so much. Esports can be a billion dollar industry. And a lot of brands are entering it as well. A lot of non-endemic brands are like Domino's, KFC, yeah, yeah, yeah. KFC Gaming. Domino's have entered and they've uh, sponsored Gfinity in the UK. And it's just, it's just mad, it's the growth of the space. Yeah, the growth has been crazy. We can't not achieve incredible things here because I can see how many smart, um, passionate, aggressive people are all running in the same direction. And like, I know we'll succeed. If we, if we all run at this, 100% will succeed. So for me, it was just, it was actually that like 10 second moment as I walked out of this office and I stood there and it, I th it felt like half the office was standing up and it was just, the energy was just amazing. Yeah.